Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a Node Express API using TypeScript. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So to start with, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just open my terminal by just pressing Ctrl Alt T. And here, let me create a folder, mkdir, and I'm going to name my folder as uh, node express ts but you can name it anything right so i'm going to just name it node express ts and then i'm going to just cd into this uh, folder right now i'm going to use visual studio code editor for writing and testing my code you can uh, use any other editor or ide i find vs code uh, as the most powerful and useful uh, tool for developing my TypeScript or Node.js applications. So I'm going to just write code and space dot and then it's going to open Visual Studio Code for me. Now here I'm going to open the integrated terminal so I can provide or give any commands from the integrated terminal inside Visual Studio Code. The first command is easy. We are going to just write npm in it here and hyphen y which is going to just create our package.json files and the second command i'm going to use here is to install the express npm package so just write npm i express we are going to just uh, install the latest version of express now we are going to also install some additional packages for our development using TypeScript. So we are going to just write npm i and then you can uh, either give hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev uh, flag here or you can uh, just write hyphen capital D which essentially mean that you uh, just want to install dev dependencies in your project. Now we are going to install some dev dependencies. First one will be TypeScript and then the next one will be at the rate uh, types forward slash express and we also need the typings for the node so i'm going to just write at the rate types forward slash node here okay so why are we installing these type definitions because uh, when you use uh, these type definition it's going to uh, give you or find some helpful uh, type definition for your package right so just provide this command and then press enter which is going to install these packages in your project so now you have installed typescript but you cannot use it because in order to use typescript you need to transpile your code and in order to transpile your code you need the configuration for the transpilation right so in order to do so, what you need to do is, let me just uh, clear the terminal. So what we can do is, we can just write uh, npx tsc and then hyphen hyphen in it. Okay, and then press enter. And what it's going to do is, it's going to create this tsconfig.json file. And here some of the properties are commented and the most important properties which you have to provide are not commented. So let's go through them one by one. So first one is the target. So using this option, you can specify which XMAS script version uh, you want to use for your project. By default, you can see right now it's ES5. You can also choose Yes, uh, 2015, 2016, 17, 18, 19, 20. So here is the place where you provide the ECMA script version. I'm going to leave it as default, right? Now the next thing here is the module. And with this module, you, you can specify which module manager you want to use in the generated uh, JavaScript code, right? So the possible values for the module can be none, common JS, which is the most common, AMD system and uh, other options uh, are also available. By default, it's common JS 
and we are going to leave it as it is. Now you can see this option, which is strict, which is enabled by default. And this toggles the strict type checking uh, option, right? Now let's uh, scroll down. And here we see uh, this option, which says ES module interop. And this option controls the interoperability uh, between common JS and the ES modules. So it does this by creating namespace object for all the imports, okay? And then we have uh, some other uh, options, skip lib check, which is going to uh, skip the check for your libraries, for consistent casting in file name, which is going to uh, disallow inconsistently cased reference to the same file, right? Now here I'm going to just enable uh, two more options. The first one is the root there. It means that you can provide the path of your TypeScript file directory, right? So right by default, it's uh, like this. I'm going to provide SRC here. So we are going to create uh, SRC uh, directory and in that SRC directory, we are going to uh, add all the TypeScript files. Also the out there also, I'm going to just uncomment this option and we can provide any name here and the TypeScript when we transpile our code, it's going to transpile our code and then add the JavaScript file in the directory name which we are going to provide here, okay? So I'm going to name my uh, folder as uh, build here, okay? You can provide any other name here. For example, dist is also very common, right? So you can either pro provide build or dist here. We will add some more options whenever they are required, but for now, let's uh, leave it like this. Let's also create a SRC uh, directory where we are going to add our TypeScript files. And now inside this SRC uh, folder, we are going to create a very simple app.ts file. You can name it as index.ts also uh, or server.ts also, whatever you feel like because we are going to just create one TypeScript file for now. And then we are going to add a very simple express API code using TypeScript. So I'm going to just write import express from uh, express here. And then I'm going to just write const app is equal to express. So, so if you are coming from uh, Node.js background, you uh, know all this code, how it works, right? And then we are going to just provide uh, the port for our API. So I'm going to just name it as port. Let's uh, provide port 3000 here. And then we are going to use this app to create our API. So let's add a get request. So I'm going to just add this get request and uh, this will be a very simple request. So I'm not going to add any uh, routes here, just forward slash. And then as the second parameter, I'm going to provide this anonymous function here. So let's provide this, which is going to take request and response parameters, right? So req for request and res for response. And when this get request uh, comes, what we want to send to the client, let's say we just want to send some text. So I'm going to just write res.send and you can provide any text here. Let's say hello space world, okay? And at last we are going to listen on the port 3000. So I'm going to just write app.listen and then provide port as the first parameter. And as the second parameter, what we are going to do here, we are going to just uh, provide this anonymous function once again. And then we are going to just console.log. And we can just say that we are just uh, connected successfully on the port uh, 3000, right? So this is the simple code, but it's not fully TypeScript because the same code you can also write in Node.js. What's the difference, right? 
so a valid node.js code is totally valid in your ts file right but first let's see how we can transpile this code and then we are going to see how we can run this code and then we are going to convert this code into a more typescript code so let's transpile our code so i'm going to just write npx and then just write tsc okay and then press enter which is going to transpile your code and you can see i have one error which is found and this error says that this app dot uh, ts file is not under root there scr so i have uh, done some typo somewhere here so you can see in the root there i have written scr i have to write src because my root there is called src and not scr okay so just keep this in mind and once again i'm going to just give this command nps tsc and now you can see it has created this build directory which we have configured in our ts config file and inside this build directory there will be uh, this app.js file so our code is transpiled into the javascript file and this is the javascript file which we can use to run our application so to run our application let me just clear the terminal and you can just write node build and then app.js this is the same command you would use to run your node.js applications just press enter and you can see it's uh, running so you can either open uh, postman or a similar application or you can directly go to your browser i'm going to use postman to test this so once my postman is uh, started i'm going to just uh, provide the get command and here i'm going to just write http colon forward slash forward slash local host colon 3000 okay so this is the port where our server is running just click on send and you can see it provides hello world that means our server is running uh, successfully so let's go back to our code so everything is running successfully so one more thing i will recommend here is to add the script for running your server so here what you can do is you can add under script you can just add a start script and then in the double quotes what you can add you can add npx tsc which is going to transpile your code and then you can just uh, give and and you can also run with the same command so you can uh, just write uh, node and then build forward slash app dot js which is the command we have used to uh, run our application right so with the single command it's going to transpile and run your code okay let's try this now you can just run your code using npm start command and you don't need to transpile and uh, run your code separately right so just write npm start and you can see our server is running successfully and when you give the same uh, request it's going to give you the response now let's go to our app.ts file right now it looks like a javascript code there is no typescript here so let's add some types to this server so we will add some more imports here so we are going to import application from our express package and we are going to import the types for the request and the spawns also so just add request and response here so application is the type for your express server so whenever you initialize your express server you can just provide this application type here port for port you can provide the number as type because it's a number for request you can provide the type request here and for response you can provide the type response here so let me just provide a response type here 
So this looks more like the TypeScript code. Now let's clear the terminal and then you can once again give npm start which is going to transpile your code and run your server and let's see if any error occurs no error occurs and our server is running successfully once again so you can see you have this uh, typescript type checking for your application now also, this is going to help you for your IntelliSense. So whenever you write res dot and you can see plenty of options here. So using this type, uh, TypeScript is also going to check the type of uh, the method which you can call on this request or response uh, parameter. So for example, if you write something like uh, res dot abc, which is the method which doesn't exist inside the type response then straight away you can see the error and in the transpilation stage also it's going to show you so so when i just uh, give npm start the transpilation error will occur so it started successfully because i haven't saved my code let me save it and uh, run it again and this time definitely i will see the error and this error says the property ABCSD does not exist in the response type, right? So it's checking your code at the transpilation stage itself and uh, it's not leaving this code until uh, it's running, right? So if it's a Node.js code, then it's going to check it at runtime. But whenever you use the TypeScript code and uh, whenever you transpile it, it's going to check all the types at the transpilation stage and it's going to show you all the errors that's the benefit of using the typescript with node.js right so this is how you can create and set up a very simple express api using typescript i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video